Hey, oh ho ho ho, my Planet Coaster friends! Xelixor here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight! And you might think, why is Santa here? Well, we have a little bit of a uh, frosty episode. Everything has to be done online today, so even Santa is showing off his Christmas presents to you this early December <laughs> in, in a snowy, frosty place. So let's dive into it. So welcome back everybody. First of all, Amori made this uh, super nice Santa. But let's get to the first coaster of the day. Our first coaster is Mountain Stream, created by Winterdrache. And here they say, hello there. A few nights ago, I dreamt about a coaster running through a foggy mountain and then dropping down into a lively mountain river, hopping up and down like waves or a jumping fish. When I woke up, I knew I had to make it in Planko, so here we are. I worked about a week on this one. I'm very satisfied with the outcome. Sadly, the water splashes tend to vanish when the coaster gets too close, but I couldn't find a better way to make these splashes work. Um, IRO show where the entrance and exit run at the station could use some work, but I'm not very good with building at the moment. Hope you like it anyways. Well, no worries about that. Winterdrache, I think it looks very cool already from the outside. So let's have a look. We're gonna get onto the coaster from here. And oh, you don't see this very often. So this is a mountain stream, it's a water coaster cascade and here are the results if you want to see them. So we are going to hop into the next one available and not this one. There we go and I think uh, seed view should do fine so let's have a ride. Okay, there we go. That was Mountain Stream. Actually, I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool. I love this uh, part, you know, we're just flying through. There we go. Uh, mountains here. And you know, the splash effect, that is just the thing in Planet Coaster that will disappear when you get close to it. Uh, no worries there, but I think you did a really great job anyway. You're faking the water here, but you have all the splashes in there. And I really think it was nice. There we go again. It was a smooth coaster. There we go. We're just gonna follow it a little bit here. There we go. Let's see it nicely. And the splash were really nice and everyone could follow. And it's smart, of course, that you put the River Rapids water underneath everything. I mean, I really enjoyed this coaster. So yeah, the only thing I would say is probably the rock work is something that you could improve upon a little bit because every type of rock is in there. Uh, and that is, I think, something you could look into. But besides that, I think it's uh, really nicely done. With a little bit of trees everywhere. You said the boarding station could use some work, but hey, you know, it's okay. Uh, I like this part where, you know, you're going through a little bit of a log sawing mill, and then we get to the uh, actual station. So that's a little feedback from me. So keep that in mind next time with the rock work. And always, you know, if you want some help, hop into discord and just ask anyone you know they will be able to help you out and let's have another look at the sign here i really like how you did that it's uh everyone can see it. it's very legible and it's 
very, very great job on this one, Winterdrache. So let's go to our next coaster. The second coaster of the day is Train Deer by Creamy Duck. And here they say it's Christmas time, so I made a Christmas mine train. Story, it's Christmas time, but Santa forgot to set his alarm. Will you help him deliver the presents? He said he will get a big reward. I once again want to thank the community for helping me along the journey of creating this and I hope you enjoy. P.S. Right at night. So that is what we will do. Let's set the nighttime lighting. There we go. We've got the sign here. Terrain deer. I like how everyone makes signs for these coasters. And let's hop into the queue. There are still presents scattered about everywhere and it's a long queue. Holy. There we go, and this is the boarding station. Let's get in here, and it's a train. Let's have a look at the results. So, train here, it's a Canyon Runner mine train, and here are the results. Let's uh, find a good seat. I think we're gonna do this in front bumper. That's probably the best for this ride. Maybe Chase. I don't know. You will you will see what I end up doing. Here we go. go that was train deer let's have a look at it from the outside i really liked it how you know we have to save christmas and we're flying through the village here trying to you know deliver the presents for santa my big reward i don't know i hope it's uh, a really nice present or maybe the fact that we get to see a dragon <laughs> in here there we go uh oh it has a hat on as well cool <laughs> here was a little christmas tree presents were sort of flying about and uh, i think it was a pretty fun coaster i like what you did here with the houses i mean the birds say me but uh you know it was a quite fun experience and we've got some shops here as well if you want uh, a little snack afterwards on a little christmas market uh, i like the uh, lighting in the track as well um yeah it was just nice to f fly through this uh, area here through this little village and the mountain and what have we got up top, actually? Let's have a look if we miss something here. Yes, we got a snowman. Very cool. Okay, so this was uh, Train Deer by Creamy Dog. Very nice creation. And let's hop on to the next one. So the last creation of the day is... Wolvengeist created by T-Man4640 and here they say hey Johnny I'm excited to show you my first ever submission legend tells of a white wolf that terrorized a small village in the Swiss Alps and it is said to this day you can still see its ghost prowling the mountainside they call it Wolvengeist PS I used the 4 meter technique so track view is the best also I apologize for the lack of screenshots on my Steam Workshop had a lot of trouble trying to get my pictures to a small enough size to upload. Thanks. Well, right away, that's a good thing. Uh, if you go onto Discord, uh, we have a frequently asked question section where all of this stuff is in there. So you never have to worry again about uploading your screenshots. Anyway, let's have a look here at Wolvengeist. Looks very cool. We've seen, by coincidence, just a lot of Viking stuff. 
uh, lately, which is really fun. So let's hop into the entrance. I really like what you did here with the uh, queue already. Let's have a look here. I, I'm guessing we're going to have to go through here and then through here. Yes, there we go. Nice. I like what you did here with this building. Look at that. Beautiful Viking-ish building. Here we go. I love all the logs when people do that in their builds. So let's have a look. What have we got here? So this is Wolvengeist by T-Man. Uh, it's a Typhoon a Barcast. And here are the results. We got almost 7 seconds of airtime with 8 airtime count. A little bit high on the verticals. But let's have a go. Wow, 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 wow. That was absolutely amazing. I loved this coaster. It was so smooth. Of course, you used the four meter meter method. Uh, just super scenic, flying through all this beautiful nature, the waterfalls, the tunnels, the caves. This area is just relaxing, even though you said there is some, uh, you know, a white wolf that is <laughs> terrorizing this village. You know, even besides that, I mean, this was just an amazing experience. I just love all these buildings. The terrain work is great. This bridge, so much detail on everything. The rock work was uh, pretty good. And it was, you know, it was just nice flying through here. Then you've got this amazing village. Look at all the little details here. I really enjoyed this creation and I actually want to ride it at night. Let's have a quick bird's eye view of the whole thing as well. I mean, it's a 4K blueprint. It's really great if you put this in a park and you decorate around it. And I, I can really see this fit amazingly in one of your parks. So if you guys want to download it, it is on the Steam Workshop and links are down below. Uh, I love the sign as well. I don't know if you made this font or not, but if you did, put, some, uh, put a font on the Workshop. It's uh, really good. So let's uh, switch it back to a night time and then we're going to ride this coaster one more time at night and then it's the end of the episode. So, uh, okay, I have to do this. And we've got a switch. There we go. Let's do this.
Okay, there we go. There was a nighttime view of a Wolvengeist. And uh, I just want to say great job, T-Man. You said it's uh, my first submission ever. If this is what you're going to do always, I'm pretty excited what you are going to come up with next. So thank you very much for sending this in. Let's also have a quick look at Mountain Stream because we didn't check out the nighttime lighting. Let's have a quick go at it, a quick glance. There is some lights here and there, the lanterns and some of the white floodlights. Making it look really icy here. Very nice. I like it. Okay, so those were the three coasters of today. We've got a mountain stream train train deer and of course Wolvengeist. So guys, what did you think of these three coasters? Leave your comments down below in the comment section and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like in the, on the video if you did. And uh, I can't wait to see you in the next. So thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye now.